Now this has been 18 months in design, working out the build for our new camera truck. And its first stage is Mark's four-wheel drive adapters. So I'm here with Lee Hardman from Mark's four-wheel drive adapters, and we're going to find out all about the design and development of the portal axle kit for the 70 series Land Cruiser. So Lee, I'm a real fan of the product, and I've known Mark's four-wheel drive adapters for years. I've got to say, I reckon this is the best product that has come out of this business. Yeah, I agree. It's our, it's our flagship product. It's the thing we're, we're moving the most at the moment. We're starting to get the penetration into the market and people realising the benefits that you get from running portal axles. So Lee, I've always been a fan of running larger rubber on a car. 35 inch tyres just gives you a much bigger platform for traction and comfort and looking after the camera gear in the back of the vehicle. Running 35 inch tyres has been a, a big request for a lot of our customers and so obviously with the, with the portals we can do that. We've got the gear reduction there so I'll bring it back to a factory ratio. Now Lee, it's not just portals that you're getting, that you're getting the proper rear diff correction which has been an inherent problem with this model where you're driving down a track and the rear tyres are constantly dropping into the, the track from the front. As a part of the portal axle upgrade, one of the, the major components we give you is the wide track diff. We manufacture a full diff housing, so it's the correct width, and then the portal gearboxes bolt to that. We also upgrade the swivel housing, so it's a one-piece swivel housing compared to the factory two-piece swivel housing. We also run a full breather system. The portal axles, the diffs, we're running breather lines right up into the engine base. We also upgrade the brakes. We upgrade to a Dalios brake rotor here, and we also put a high temp ceramic brake pad in. We also change the brake lines, swap them out for a stainless steel braided brake line. You're also getting a proper handbrake, but on top of that, and the key point for me is that you're getting six inches of clearance underneath the rear diff, the front diff, underneath the spring hangers. It's just going to make life so much easier out on the tracks. And a bonus to all this is that when you want to lock the hubs in, you can press a button and you've got air locking hubs. The, uh, the handbrake for the 70 series has always been a major problem. So when we were going through the design of the portal axis for this vehicle, we thought we'd go back and have a look and see if we can improve on it. And introduced a drum handbrake on the back of the transfer case. So on top of this, Lee, we get a GVM upgrade, which allows us to carry more camera gear to the sites to allow us to get on with our job that we need to do. On the 79 series, we've got a 3,950 kilo GVM. Probably that's what you need to carry all your camera gear. I went to Toyota in Illawarra and I said, this is the vehicle, this is the colour that I'm after. They sourced it and they said, yep, we'll look after the whole lot. I haven't had to do anything. They chucked it on a truck and now it's here at Mark's. Well, yeah, the certification on this vehicle is fairly straightforward now. It's come straight from Toyota to us. We do the build. We then apply a second stage manufacturer plate to this car. We've done the engineering. We've been certified. We put all that through Canberra. It's a national certification, so it makes it a lot simpler and a lot easier for you. And it's also a lot cheaper. That's just one of the benefits you get for getting our portal axles and the ability to run 35 inch tires legally. Well, I can't wait to get out on the track. I'm really excited about this. And to follow this build and see how we turn it into the ultimate camera truck, Stay tuned to ARB's Facebook and Instagram pages, plus ARB Culture for all the latest.